Hey, what is good my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking and I don't usually do videos like this to be honest with you But the homies over on Instagram have been DMing me like crazy to see my collection. So I said why not? So bear with me because there's a lot <laughs> So I don't really know where to begin uh, I might have to kind of skim through these because trust me there's a lot bro. So damn Bam, <laughs> I remember going to Barnes and Nobles for this 2017 so out of all of these this one kind of means the most to me because I actually went into the store and bought it You know like the only time I ever really did that like went into a store and actually bought a CD and you know Most of these are online, but um, I bought Nas's untitled album uh, I think that's it, bro. I think that's the only actual CD I actually bought But um, yeah, damn CD lit and you're probably wondering Bro, why do you collect CDs? Why do you collect cassettes, vinyls? And you know what I say to that? Why not? So you're probably wondering, how do I even play my cassettes? I got a little cassette player right here from Urban Outfitters. It gets the job done. It's not that great. But over here, I'm not trying to move the camera, but I have a six-in-one vinyl player. It plays vinyls, CDs, cassettes, uh, SD card, uh, USB drive, Bluetooth, bro. It plays it all, so yeah. Got that. Nas's It Was Written. Amazing album, uh, probably definitely top five for sure. It, it, it's low key better than Illmatic. Um, we have Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, actually, I'm actually not really a fan of him like that, but uh, it was at a thrift shop for like two bucks, so I picked it up. It's pretty cool though. I've always been a fan of like, you know, like I like paperbacks. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's kind of dope. So whatever, that's cool. Uh, I got this Little Baby and Gunna, Drip Too Hard. Pretty cool, pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Pretty dope. Not the biggest fan of this album, but it was on sale for like four bucks, so I got that. Oh yeah, and uh, what you know about this Walkman? What you know about this, bro? Nothing, nada, all you know is the phone, bro. I got DS2, classic, and I'm actually kind of pissed off at myself because this is not the deluxe edition, bro. Bro, this is missing tracks 14 to like 18. Know the Meaning isn't on this, Real Sisters isn't on this, uh, psh, bro, a couple others, man, I'm kind of tight, but whatever, got that, oh yeah, let me show you the inside, pretty hard, bro, that shit's hard, hard, that shit's dope, uh, I just got, I got a lot of these today, actually, nothing to prove, which I thought was, eh, it was alright, I said in my last video, the only thing that he proved on this tape is that he could do better, and Lil Bo 3, shit's pretty fire, Pretty simple, pretty simple, pretty hard though. You know, you got the classic, legendary Lobo, Lobo on a CD. I got a lot of these from Target, actually. Target got a lot of CDs and vinyls, bro, and they come in excellent condition. Check their website, man. They got some good CDs and vinyls, bro, if you're into this. Got Lil Baby, and I'm kind of tight because, you know, every rapper want to do deluxe editions nowadays. Bro, it's like disloyal to... to Whatever, bro. You cop this and then it loses its value, bro. It's like a, it's like DLC in a video game. You get the raw game and you got all this DLC. What's the point? You know what I'm saying, but whatever. I got Stokely and I can't wait to see what Ski drops this year, bro. I'm pretty excited. This is pretty dope. Pretty simple. CD. Pretty cool. Dope tape. Pretty underrated. Uh, we got Stillmatic. Amazing album. Definitely top five in Nas's discography um the tracks on here like rewind uh shit still mad it got yourself a gun one mic classic bro uh psh, psh. bye 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 this shit is heat bro you know i had to get this comes with a little poster too and uh the cd it's like gucci it's like the gucci logo but it says ck which is fire that shit is fire this is this right here Holds a lot of sentimental value to me. This is Death Race for Love, signed by Juice World himself. Um, Juice World 999. RIP, man. This this was 15 bucks on his website, and then after he died, it was like 600, 700 on eBay. Distasteful, bro. Distasteful, but definitely never gonna sell this, man. RIP to RIP to that boy, man. We got Taboo. Welcome to the dark side. You know the vibes, bro. You know the vibes, bro. Come on. Hard. Hard. Mmm. Too hard. 
Next we got, what is this? To Pimp a Butterfly. And a lot of people consider this like greatest rap album of all time. Um, I like Good Kid Mad City more, but hey, to each his own. Pretty simple as shit in there. Um, I just don't ever go back to it, really. That's kind of why I say, hmm, Good Kid Mad City, I could go back to and bump that shit. Like, uh, I guess, okay, random vinyl here. We got Birds in the Trap Sing Brian McKnight, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Real quick, guys. Let me show you the inside. Pretty hard. We got ourselves. Oh, drop something there. Hard. Hard. Come on, bro. That shit is heat. I could have sworn this came with a poster, but I guess not. Because, you know, Travis. You don't want to include a poster. Oh, wait. I got this thing. You guys want it? Here, digital copy. Oh no, wait. It's expired, never mind, never mind. I mean, everybody got Spotify and Apple Music anyways, right? So I got this uh, YG, Stay Dangerous, on a cassette tape because why not? Uh, it was on sale in Urban. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Not, a, not the biggest fan of YG, although My Crazy Life, classic, bro, that shit hard. Uh, my favorite future album of all time, I don't care, The Wizard. Love this album to death. I actually got High Off Life from his website signed vinyl. But that shit says like 13 to 15 weeks. So I'm kind of tired about that. But whatever. <laughs> we got the Lost Tapes. Uh, my favorite Nas album of all time. Very underrated. Amazing. Amazing album, bro. Amazing. Real hip hop shit. Yo, this right here. The alternate cover of Jesus Peace. Tell me that ain't fire, bro. That's not fire, look at this. Ooh. Ooh, look at the inside, bro. That shit is dope. That shit is dope. Jesus Peace is a super underrated album, in my opinion. For real, for real. We got Crash Talk, another underrated album, in my opinion. I don't see why people didn't like this. Maybe because they're comparing it to Blank Face. That's probably better, but this is still hard. Tails. I actually like Chopsticks. Sue me, bro. Sue me. You know what I'm saying? Tails is so hard, bro. Crash. I like Dangerous. Floating is hard, bro. Drunk with Black? Stupid. I got Not All Heroes Wear Capes on a cassette. Stupid. Stupid hard. See-through cassette. Because, what's the quote, guys? Why not? You feel me? Hold up. We got Double or Nothing, Big Sean and Metro Boomin'. Mm, this tape was okay. Pretty mediocre, but it was cool. We go Legend. We go legend. Yeah. Well, why am I saying yeah? We got Nostradamus, which I think is not that bad. I do not think this is Nas's worst album, but to each his own. I think Nasir is his worst album, but this is not that bad, bro. You got tracks like Nostradamus itself, Shoot 'em Up. Hard, hard, bro. We got Russ's Shake the Snow Globe, uh, an artist that people just be shitting on for no reason. Like, I think he's extremely talented. Like, I've seen him make beats from scratch that he showed on his Instagram. Bro, that shit is fire, bro. Like, he could sing, he could rap. He's dope. He's dope. Stop hating on Russ, bro. Shit is fire. Lil Pump, Lil Pump, if I'm trying to lose brain cells, you already know what to go to, bro. You already know what to go to. Lil Pump got the Lil Pump, Lil Pump, Lil Pump. That's actually not on this album, but D Rose is. 80 or more is. 50 or more. Sorry if my chair makes that swivel noise sorry don't kill me future honest pretty underrated album uh i remember this coming out and still feeling like future wasn't future yet you know what i mean like he was good he was cool but once he dropped monster that shit changed everything i feel like future blew up twice you know what i mean like he completely re how do you call it like you know re not rejuvenate like reinvented himself well he skyrocketed after fuck all that shit I got Unlocked, Denzel Curry's latest album on a cassette, Fire. He actually has a comic book, all that shit. This shit is dope as hell. Super cool. I had to get it. It was only like seven bucks on his website. We got ourselves Astro World on a CD because it's lit. This is one of my favorite Travis albums. This is dope. This is cool. The CD is actually pretty cool. I'm going to show you. It's like a... Swimming or some shit it's like a smiley face. That shit's hard. Uh, I was gonna get this on vinyl, but I was being cheap 
so this was only like nine bucks so eh I probably I'll probably get it on vinyl eventually we got man on the moon on a vinyl Whoo, this shit is hard um yeah I'm actually kind of fake because I'm not the biggest Kid Cudi fan but I think this album is amazing so and I love the artwork so that shit is hard that shit is hard bro next we got man this chair I'm sorry guys Denzel Curry, 32 Zell, which he considers to be a flop. He, he he thinks that this album didn't really hit, you know, didn't really hit, like, you know, didn't connect with people, but as time went on, people became, you know, more Denzel fans and they appreciate this more. Whoo, come on, bro. Come on. Denzel, you killing them with this shit, bro. He, Denzel is such a dope artist, bro. Such a dope artist. If you've never listened to Denzel Curry, you probably should, bro. <laughs> you probably should. We got Slim Shady. Yes, sir. Eminem's first album. Amazing condition. This was only like two bucks at a thrift shop. Hard, bro. Hard. Dope album. We got ourselves Watch the Throne, which I haven't listened to this in years. So I don't really know if it still holds up. It probably doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it does. But that was a dope album. We got ourselves Goblin, Tyler the Creator. Again, not really, not again. I said that about Earl Sweatshirt. I'm not really the biggest Tyler the Creator fan. I'm sorry. Yo, look at that. The original Jack Boys. They stealing swag. Yes, sir. That shit is hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. I never really got into it. I always, I couldn't really connect with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I just can't get into it. Uh, we got Streets Disciple. I'm a big Nas fan. Nas is my favorite rapper. Nas and Soldier Boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually kind of serious. Uh, yeah, dope album. Pretty underrated. Has like four CDs or some shit. We got Godson. Amazing album. People talk about Nas only got one good album. One one clap. What? Why well, I got Medieval on PS1 on that on in here? What the hell, bro? That's crazy. Whatever. It's a great game. They actually remastered it on PS4. We got Nas's Untitled. Great album. Great album. Um, it might not hold up today because a lot of it was political. So it might be a little outdated because he talks about like Obama becoming president and shit, but whatever. We got this random shit here. It's like a, it's not really an album. It's like Nas's couple songs from Stillmatic. From Illmatic to Stillmatic, the remixes. I don't know. What else we got over here, boys? We got some rock. Linkin Park. I, I, that's all I got. When it comes to rock, Linkin Park. Because they, they, they're fucking great. Meteora. Bruh. Bruh. Stupid hard. We got Hybrid Theory. Amazing album. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Sorry about that. The Game. Doctor's Advocate. Great album. Great album. It actually comes with a DVD. I should probably... Yo, it even has, like, text... Yo. Try to text these numbers, maybe you get a ringtone. I, I doubt that shit still works, but... You remember that? You guys remember that? You might be too young for that. Illmatic, classic, of course. Uh, uh, XXX, Tentacion 17. Yes, sir. Had to get the CD for that. Another Juice World, Death Race for Love. It came with two booklets. So I kind of just put it in a jewel case. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? All right, so that's all my CDs right yes that's all my cds all right guys so now mostly vinyls if you're still here watching i pre you know what let me check if this shit is still recording because all right yo last time i did this made me not want to do the video we got trippy red a love letter to you three uh probably people would say this is like peak trippy um probably his best album this or they probably say life's a trip which I should be getting that in the mail in like two days on a CD. Um, it's just plain black vinyl. With like the green and the eyeball. Pretty dope. Um, songs on here that I really love is... Uh, the shit with Juice World is hard. Taking a Walk I think is on this. Or is that Life's a Trip? I kind of get those confused. It's Topanga. Topanga's on here. Um, love Scars 3. I love Letter to You 3. The song itself is hard. And uh, Campfire Tay, I, I, I really like that. Um, wait, did I show you guys this yet? This is the best vinyl. Bro, this right here is the dopest vinyl that I own, bro. I should have saved this for last, but 
Bro, it's mad heavy. Look at this. Come on, bro. It comes with a CD, bro. You see that? There's a CD in the middle. Where do you... Bro. Stupid hard. Stupid, bro. Like, got left back type shit. Like, I gotta show you the poster that's in this shit, bro. So dope, man. 808s and Heartbreaks is probably my favorite Kanye album. Again, if you don't like that, sue me. Hard. Hard. And on this side... Rest in peace to his mom, man. Rest in peace to his mom. Such a dope vinyl, bro. Shit. I showed my mom this and like she doesn't like rap. But she's like, wow, that's beautiful. Who, who made that? I, don't know, I mean, I, I don't know if Kanye made this himself, but like, wow, so beautiful. I love it. Love the colors. I'm like, yup. Yes, sir. Ah, get in there, bro. All right, so that's that. We got Good Kid, Mad City. Um, my favorite Kendrick album. This or Damn? I'm not sure. I'm ve I'm really looking forward to his next um, album. It's, it's supposed to be a rock album, so. Pretty dope, pretty dope. The vinyls themselves are see-through, which is pretty cool. All right here. So they're, they're see-through, which is really dope. I would take them out, but that takes, you know, it's a hassle putting them back in. Next, we got Zoo. Denzel Curry, great album. At first, I didn't really like it that much. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, damn, you go from Taboo to this. It was a different direction, but it was still good. I appreciated it more as time went on. Mmm, so hard. And hold up, hold up. You know Denzel gotta go all out. You know Denzel ain't, come on, bro. Yes, sir. Green vinyl, bro. Hard. Speedboat. We got ourselves Migos Culture 2. This album was alright. Uh, I didn't like how Migos said they, they spent no more than 45 minutes on a on a song. Are you kidding me? How are you gonna say that? That means you put in no effort, bro. That's no wonder there's so many damn songs on this. But this shit hard though. Ooh, hold up. T hold up, bro. Come on. Come on. That it, you know where they got this from? They got this from Rick Ross, bro. What, what's that album? I'm a neighborhood drug dealer. Or whatever. That shit looks just like this. And that came out before this. Uh, tell me in the comments what, what album that is. Wasn't it? It's a Rick Ross album that looks just like that. Like black and red like that. Next we got 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Amazing album. Probably my favorite J. Cole album. Great. Great, great, great. It's a standard black vinyl, but it comes with this cool, like these pictures. It's pretty dope. And it has like all the songs on the back, and then it has like this car. Like it's, it's lit here, and then it's like, <laughs> you know? So that's that. We got Futures, Future Vinyl. Scrape it out of power when I cook. Scrape it out of power when I cook. Hard. Hard. I think every song on this shit slaps. This is top three future, bro. This right here, it, I don't know if it went to one ear out the other, but this shit still slaps, bro. High demand. I, I'm so groovy. I got power. Hard. Fez did a sweep. Man. Good dope. Zoom. Mask off. Next, we got at long last ASAP. Whoo, this vinyl is heat. This vinyl is heat. Come on. RPMs, man. RPMs, this shit is fire. This shit is fire, bro. This shit, I hope I'm like in the camera, guys. I really do. I can't really see what I'm recording, which is really annoying. But I got a standard, it's a standard black vinyl, but I don't know why this is like white, but pretty dope. Pretty dope. ASAP, you killing them, bro. I think my favorite song on this is probably. Excuse me, may I be excused? What's the word around town? Is the latest news in the uh, Hoodoo Man? Yo, am I bugging? Oh, yeah. That or LSD. Nah, 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 I'm lying. JD, I don't know. This shit hard, though. This shit hard, though. <sighs> Heat, bro. Ah, I fucking almost paper cutted myself. Straight heat. 
straight heat. It's one of the best vinyls I got for sure. Definitely, definitely. Do you guys like this? Do you guys like testing more? Um, you know, do you like long live ASAP? What do you What are you guys feeling, man? Do you like his uh, his first mixtape? How do you? What's the name of that? I've never. We brand new guys, purple sweat, all that. Still fucked up. Still fucked up. Yo, this shit hard. I don't know what to do. The quality on this vinyl is amazing, and I'm actually kind of mad because I thought. It was gonna be the blue vinyl or the yellow vinyl. And I got the standard ass black vinyl. Kinda mad about that. But in their defense, they never said it was blue or yellow on Target's website, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I know Urban Outfitters got the yellow one, I'm pretty sure. Is this a classic or what? Cause this shit is a classic, bro. Are you kidding me? I came in with a call, huh? And I got some bitches call it hard. Standard black vinyl. It's just in the middle it says Playboy and it's red. We got ourselves. Bitch so bad with the snake skin. Hey, foreign dude. Yo, how does it enemy arms? I don't know why people hate on this. This shit is hard. Like, it, I don't think it's that bad. I really don't think it's that bad. Tell me why it's that bad and then I'll agree with you. Because it's really not that bad. <laughs> Target actually gave me two of them. This one is sealed. So I'm actually doing a giveaway on my Instagram. Uh, by the time you watch it, it's probably gonna be gone, but we got ourselves bad vibes. Let me check if it's still recording, bro. That shit, I don't trust this shit. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bad vibes forever. Um, I actually like this album. Again, sue me. I actually really like it. Of course, there are some fillers in here that didn't need to be on the album, like Rick Ross, uh, Why Are You There, but whatever. Um, I think it's pretty dope, man. And then this, it's like a, it's like a cream, it's like a cream color. Water light balls. Hey, huh? I'm dripping souls. That shit's hard, bro. Even though I heard that song on SoundCloud, but bro, this is not that bad. Bi bad vibes forever. Trippy Red and PNB is hard. School Shoot is hard. Triumph is one of X's best songs. I like Eat It Up. Attention. This shit got heat. This shit got heat. Stop playing. Oof. I literally. I literally, yes, I got this on cassette and vinyl. Might get it on CD too. This shit is a Best Buy exclusive. I went all the way to Best Buy, took the train, cause I seen it on their website. I was like, Best Buy sells vinyls? Huh, what? What? This is, ex this is heat. I made easy boost moves in my Reeboks. It ain't gonna never stop. Trying to run a billion up until my ankle pop. Yeah, when I first heard that song, shit gave me chills, bro. That shit is so hard. Nobody to notice till the jet was in the sky. Mm -hmm. so this album is so good, bro. You, oh man, I love this album, bro. Love that shit, bro. We got skins, XXX Tentacion, baby. R.I.P. to that boy, man. R.I.P. to that boy. This album is actually pretty good. Some people like this more than 17. Um, yeah, it's a standard black vinyl. Not much. Well, actually, it comes with like a bunch of pictures and stuff like that, which is cool. But glad I had this. Oh, wait, actually, it's not a standard black vinyl. I'm lying. Yes, sir. The album cover on the vinyl itself. That's pretty dope. <laughs> that I, I've never seen that. So that's pretty dope. That was actually on sale on Urban Outfitters for like 15. This I got for like five bucks in Urban. Uh, it's cool. I actually like the song with Nav. Uh, what is it? How that shit go? Got the Lambo. It's a truck. Got a hundred million dollars in the gut. She got good hair. That shit hard, bro. This was actually not that bad of an album. Next we got Yay, which was a cool album. Um, kind of, kind of forgettable to me, but glad I own it. Pretty standard black vinyl. I can still feel the love. This right here had to cop. A lot of people be praising this like it's sliced bread, like the first thing since sliced bread, like, like Jesus itself made this. Uh, relax. It's good. I like it. There's like two skippable songs, maybe one skippable song. So yeah, it is very good. Very, very good. Reborn's probably my favorite, or Cutty Montage, maybe. I don't know. We got ourselves KOD. 
And this album was a little disappointing, a little bit, because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the subject matter didn't really, he didn't really hit home with the concept that he tried doing with this, in my opinion, in terms of like the words, the wordplay and the lyricism, but it was still dope. I think Windows Pain is top five, J. Cole, amazing, amazing track. But uh, yeah, the whole concept of like the kids on drugs thing, he didn't really execute it in my opinion. Next we got what a lot of people be foaming at the mouth for, Igor. Um, it's cool. It's actually, it, it's a vibe. I'll just be talking shit. It's dope. So yeah, Igor, what's your favorite song on here? Let your boy know. We got ourselves, huh? Diamonds, 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 diamonds on me dancing. I got the digital dash. It's uh, hard. I'm glad I have this, bro. I'm glad I have this because pretty sure nobody has this. Pretty sure nobody has a lot of this, which I'm kind of hype about. Sounds like I'm bragging, but. And last but not least, uh, this shit heavy, bro. Uh, XXX Tentacion, question marks, album on a vinyl. Amazing. Shout out to my girl for this, bro. Ooh, heat. Heat, bro. This shit is heavy as hell, bro. It comes with uh, a Christmas carol, ghetto Christmas carol. It comes with all the instrumentals from question mark. So dope, bro. So dope. It comes with a poster that I put on my wall. Psh, hard, bro. So yeah, I think that's everything, bro. I think that's everything for, for right now until I guess I get a new haul. But uh, damn, if you if you made it this far, I really, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, that was a lot. If you watched all that, I appreciate it. Subscribe to your boy. I got a future documentary coming up soon. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>